Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and today we're going to be looking at combining your stream deck with Streamerbot. This means any actions that you've created inside of Streamerbot, you'll be able to execute by the touch of a button super, super easily. And it just makes your stream deck go to that next level. All right, let's just get into it. Put your rug over the stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Owned Pro. Are you tired of listening to the same royalty-free music? Well, Owned Pro have got your back. They've recently just partnered with Epidemic Sound. So with their Plus membership, you will actually get access to a huge library of music and sounds that are all completely royalty-free. And what's better, you can save yourself a huge 50% off your membership using offer code ANDY50PRO. All the links are in the description and they go a huge way to support the channel. Thank you, Owned Pro, for sponsoring this portion of the video. So first up, we need to make sure you've got a Stream Deck and you've got Streamerbot. So make sure you do have all the software downloaded for Streamerbot and Stream Deck. Then we can head on over to the Streamerbot website. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. And if we scroll a little bit further down, we'll see Stream Deck plugin just here. So I can click on this and it'll take us over to Nate's GitHub page, who is the creator of Streamerbot. So make sure you do check over there. You know, drop a cheeky dono. You, he's done some incredible stuff and it's absolutely free. So definitely go and support him. So all we need to do is go over to the releases section on the right hand side, press releases, and you'll see this nate1280.streamerbot.streamdeck plugin. We're just gonna open that. So we're gonna select it. That's gonna start, start a download just here and we just need to open it. It's going to then open your Stream Deck software and it's going to say is a custom action downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to install it? Just because we know Nate is a safe dude, we're just going to press install. So mine's already on here, so it'll say mine can't be installed on this machine because it's already installed. So I'm just going to press OK. So yours will say success, it's already installed everything. And now if we go on the right hand side, we can press the little uh, hamburger type thing and go all the way to the bottom and you should see streamer.bot just there. So we can select that on, press done, and now you'll see the little happy robot just here and you'll only have one item that you can use, which is action. So if I drag that in now over here, you'll be able to give it a title like you normally would. So I'll just call this test and we've got the action that we want it to use. It's going to show up absolutely blank right now because we need to make sure we connect Streamerbot to Stream Deck. So once in Streamerbot, we need to go to Servers Clients just here and make sure the WebSocket server has started. So press Start Server. I always leave Auto Start checked. This will make sure that it starts up every time Streamerbot does. The address, leave that as the default 127.0.0.1 and the port 8080 as well. Just leave it all as default unless you know what you're doing there. Now we can jump back into the Stream Deck software and you'll see we've got 127.0.0.1 and the port number 8080, which is exactly the same as we've got set up here. So it might not show you all the actions straight away. You will have to click off it and then back onto the button. But now when we click that box, we'll see a ton of different things. All of the actions that you've got inside of Streamerbot. So I'm going to create a quick action just as a test. So I'm going to right click and we're going to add a new action and I'm just going to call this test as well. Press OK and we've got the test one just here. And the test I'm going to make is a Twitch message. So if I just right click and go to add and we'll go down to Twitch and I can press send message to channel. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to say this has been sent from my stream deck and I'm going to press OK. And that's it. Now when I turn that action on, it's going to send a message to my Twitch chat. So now I'm going to pull my Twitch chat just up here. If we jump back to the Stream Deck software, the action that we're going to select on the drop down is it should be right at the bottom. It's test that we created. So I'm going to press that and then zoom out. And now when I press the button on my Stream Deck, there we go. This has been sent from my Stream Deck. So you can use this for absolutely anything. So if you wanted to do scene switching, send messages to Twitch. If you wanted to create any kind of effects or anything like that, or even like you can get pretty creative. There's a lot of things that you can do. Definitely check out my tutorials on what you can do, especially with what you can do with Streamerbot. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below and it'll be on the end cards as well. 
Huge thanks to all these people for supporting me to help make this content full time for you guys. If you've got any questions about anything, then just bang it in the comments down below, all right? I'm always here to help you as much as I can. Make sure you do check out one of these videos just here because this will definitely help you with StreamerBot. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Put your rock into the stone.